the Rochester Orchid Society, and uh, he's going to go over some uh, banda growing and some catalea growing. Thank you All so right. much. As Larry mentioned, hi, my name is Austin. Um, I have been growing orchids for only four years, but I've dove headfirst into this hobby. I know. I've got a few familiar faces that I see here. Um, wonderful guests from the Niagara Frontier Orchid Society out in Buffalo. Um, I've been growing under windowsill conditions for two years, and then my collection expanded. So now I primarily grow under LED lights, which are very helpful in growing some nice specimens. So today, like Larry mentioned, I'm gonna be your guide in growing Cattleya and Vanda orchids in the home. So as a general overview, Orchidaceae is the orchid family. There are approximately 800 genera within Orchidaceae, and numbers always vary due to um, taxonomy being changed, but the most common genera that you're going to be seeing are Cattleya, Dendrobium, Oncidium, Paphiopetalum, Slipper Orchid, Phalaenopsis, which you see most often in big box stores, and Vanda. Alright, so how many people here have an idea of how many orchids there are in the world? And I want to hear some guesses as to how many orchid species you think there are out there. Just shout out any numbers. 200,000. How many? 200,000. Less than that. <laughs> 50,000. 50,000. We're getting closer. A little less, though. Anybody else want to give it a shot? 20,000. 20, That's probably like the closest one. We're at 25,000 to 30,000 species of orchids. So there is one out there for someone. Uh, they're found on every continent except Antarctica. The only thing that I would expect to grow on Antarctica would be moss, lichen, penguins, <laughs> seals. And uh, they grow in the tropical and temperate regions. So New York, we are a temperate region, and we have about 60 native terrestrial orchid species in the state, which is pretty nice. They primarily grow in bogs or woodland areas. But the orchids that I'll be speaking on today are found mostly in the tropics. So Catlia are a group of epiphytic or lithophytic orchids, and that just means that epiphytic plants grow on trees. They don't parasitize the tree, they just grow within the branches to gain access to light sources. If they're lithophytic, that just means that they grow on rocks. Um, they're found in the New World tropics from Mexico down to Argentina. They'll be in the Andes in Peru, they'll be in the canopies, in Brazil, they're all over the place. And there are approximately 80 species of those. Um, some Catlia were previously classified as Lelia or Sophronitis, and due to taxonomy, renaming things, um, they've all been lumped into Catlia. But some growers still, to, still prefer to call them as the previous for cultural reasons that were Familiar, familiar with. Um, so to talk about the Catlia growth, 